What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this video, I just want to share with you um, the idea that you don't always have to put in images into your background of your funnels. So um, <clears throat> there's actually a ton of free videos you can use as well. And that may, may, may add some professionalism to your site because it's usually harder to kind of integrate a video uh, as a background on your site uh, but i think it looks a bit more professional and that's something you can do as well by just getting some really free videos from the net right from online and click funnels has this feature that allows you to have a looping if you choose to youtube video or any video uh in the background okay so the, like for example i just picked off this random youtube video right and here's what it's going to look like so um it's gonna start playing right and obviously you're gonna make it whatever uh it is suited to you and you can change the color a bit in the background so for example right over here uh i can add a little maybe blue tint to it right i can make it something like that and then if i click save now my video is going to have a little blue tint to it so you can add some really cool effects like that uh but point is you can make it really relevant to you okay um, so, so, so that's pretty cool. So let me just show you really quickly how you would do that. So first thing you would do is just type in free videos in Google and it's going to give you a ton of, uh, you know, different videos. So for example, we went over pexels, right? And like when I first, <laughs> like one of the first YouTube videos I did was how to add images to click funnels or something like that. And we used pexels.com as well as Pixabay. Now these guys also offer free videos. So if you actually click here, you can get a bunch of free videos. Now these are pretty cool, right? So depending on whatever it is you're promoting, you will probably find a ton of uh, relevant um, videos here. So, so for example, for this one, for, for, for people, like there is a ton of stuff here. Like look at that group meeting, right? So if you're maybe promoting some, so, some sort of software, maybe you can use this, right? Maybe some social software, something like that, right? I, I, I don't know what you could use. Maybe, maybe this one um, in front of a computer. So I don't know, maybe again, something to do with software right um but there's a ton 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 of free videos here so what you would do is you would literally right you just people partying people walking so again depending on your niche take a look at this right I, again just type in free videos in google you're gonna get a bunch of different um uh, different things like these these are really you know really pretty i think uh again depending on what you're promoting but that looks pretty good to me in my opinion right looks better than just a um a static image so what you would do is you would just go here same thing this one says no attribution required free for personal and commercial use i i like to look at that uh then what you would do is you would download it you would download it and then what i do is i like to upload this to youtube just because it's the easiest thing to do and then what you do is you need to go into background here you need to so normally it's going to say off you would need to select background video on and then put in the url of the youtube video now if you don't want that youtube video to kind of show off right on the like to, to everyone what you can do is set it to unlisted and that way only anyone who has your url will be able to actually see it and of course you're not going to give that url to anyone um except it's going to be here but people can't even click on it if it's here okay so the only purpose of having it on youtube is just to make it comfortable no one else will see it if you make your videos as unlisted okay um, if you make it on private it will not show so this video will not work it will, it will say error or something like that um, so here, you, you, you know, you could play around with the settings. You can uh, turn the volume, uh, fade volume in. So the volume could kind of start from nothing and go in, right? Uh, the video image could be the video thumbnail or original settings. I'm not sure what that would be. I think that's just like the very first image that's there. Uh, and then you can loop the video. You can, you know, after the video is done, you can take it to another uh, URL. You could show a pop-up um when the video ends you could uh hide the video so the video would just you know go go blank uh so these are some of the options you have and then you know that that's what it's gonna look like it's, it's just gonna look like this right so it's gonna start playing uh, like obviously this is a crappy video not pertaining to anything uh but that looks you know that looks good i think better than just an image um so if you you know what 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 you're doing here is you're putting kind of this video on the entire page so if you don't want some parts to have the uh the the video on it what you would need to do is go into each uh each uh section and kind of change the color of it so for example i like i'll make this black um notice how the transparency right there's no transparency that means you will not see the background which is that video so if you really want to hide a video make sure it's at zero transparency which is all the way at the end regardless of what color you pick so you know you could pick red you could pick white so over here it's white 
and I don't see anything because my transparency is uh, zero. It's all the way to the end. Now, if I make it here, as you can see, you can see the video, okay? So that's the idea. Um, so really, that's the only way to do it right now. There's really no way to put a uh, video just on a particular um, section. Uh, not yet, it looks like, but you would just put it, you know, on the background, and then what you would do is you would uh, just go in and change every section you don't want to have the video on. So that's just a little thing I wanted to share with you. Something actually pretty cool I found out myself um, just a while ago. Something I didn't really think about before, um, but you know, now that I found this, it's like why the heck wouldn't you use it? This looks, I think, so much more professional, so much cooler, especially if you find that perfect video that matches your niche, matches your product, right? Depending on what it is. So that's about it. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, how to's, reviews, etc., etc. On and on we go. Um, and like I said, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Leave them down below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.